This is tutorial number four, and it covers revolved base within SolidWorks. To start this tutorial, let's open up a part file, click File, click New, click Part, click OK. Now, to start this off, let's make a sketch. Click Line, click Front. Now, for this first bit, let's draw a pulley. Now draw a line straight up, draw a line straight across, down. Now right click, click end chain, click three point arc, click on the dot, click in a straight line with that dot. Now you can pull it back, you can pull it forward, and that judges how much of a curve. For this one, let's make it 180 degrees. So once you get it there, click. Now click line, click down until you see the dotted blue line so you're in line with the origin. And go across and click the origin. Click OK. Click add relation. Click that line and that line there and click equal. So now they're equal length and click OK. Now, to revolve this to make a pulley wheel, click Feature, click Revolved Base. Now, this feature here is the axis of revolution. This is where the whole object is going to be spun around. On this particular object, it's going to be this line right here. But in some cases, we're going to have to draw in a temporary axis. For this one, we just click this one and it revolves around that line. Now let's take a look at our preview and it looks pretty good. Click isometric, click OK, and now we've made a basic pulley wheel. Now click File, click New, click Part, click OK. Now we're going to make a part that we need to make a temporary axis. So click sketch, click line, click the front plane, and this time instead of right on the origin, let's go to the left a bit and let's draw something. For this, let's just doodle and make a funky looking shape. All that you have to do is just make sure that you complete it. Make sure that it is enclosed. So there's my shape. Click OK. Now once you've made whatever shape you want it to be on the left, click center line. From the origin go down until you're below your drawing and in line with the center line with the origin. Go straight up until you're past it and click again. Now click OK. Now that's going to be our axis of revolution. Now click Feature, click Revolved Base, and it revolves around that axis of revolution, our temporary axis. And you can see we have a hole in the middle now. And this appears to be a donut. Now click OK. and we have our drawing. Now say that hole in the middle was too small for us. To make it a bit bigger, we would right click, edit sketch, click front. Now to make the hole bigger, we need the distance between here and here larger. So let's click smart dimension, click the axis, click the line, and let's say 100 millimeters. Click enter, click OK. Now we've made the hole in the middle bigger. So we are able to still edit the extrude just through the drawing. Now let's make a unique 90 degree 
corner bend. Let's click File, click New, click Part, click OK. Now let's sketch a circle on the front plane. And again, not on the origin to the left of it. And let's make it 25 millimeters the radius. Click Enter, click OK. And let's draw the center line again in line with the origin all the way up. Click Enter, click OK. Now to revolve it, once again we click Feature, Revolve Base, and it revolves around that axis. Instead of making a total 360 degrees, this time let's make it 90. Now we only have a section of it. It only revolves 90 degrees around our axis. So now we have like a corner, a corner bend, a corner pipe, whatever you want it to be. Now again with the degrees you can increase it and it makes more of a bend, decrease it, it makes less of a bend going around. But for this one let's just make it 90 degrees. Click enter, click OK. Now let's click the isometric view and we have a 90 degree turn. And again with this one, if we want to make the, the bend bigger, we can edit the sketch with a smart dimension, the distance from the temporary axis to the origin of the circle. Let's make it 100, click enter, click OK, click OK, and now the, the curve is bigger. And this concludes our tutorial on the revolved base.